Okay, so the name of this tutorial is how to add HTML into a Joomla 1.5 content item. The thing is, though, you can't actually add HTML, JavaScript, etc. Into, directly into a Joomla 1.5 content item. But there is a way to do it. Uh, you need to load that uh, HTML or PayPal generated code into a module, and then you load that module into a content item. But it's a specific module that you need that doesn't come in uh, by default into Joomla. So you need to go to the Joomla.com uh, main website and go to extensions and do a search for mod HTML for Joomla 1.5. You need to grab this module and install it in your Joomla site. So I've already installed it. So I'm going to go over to my Joomla admin panel and I'm going to go to extensions module manager and here's the module that I've installed. So what you want to do is you want to copy that module. So you select it and you copy. And I'm going to open up the copy. And there's only a few things that you need to do here. One, you need to give, give it a title that's meaningful. So I'm going to uh, use this to load my newsletter sign up form. So I'm going to name it newsletter. I don't need to show the title. I do need to make sure that the, uh, the module is enabled. By default, when you copy a module in Joomla, it's not enabled, so you need to enable it. And then if you go over here to the right and you scroll down a bit, you're going to see this box that says HTML. And you can see that you can paste any kind of uh, uh, JavaScript, uh, any, any script uh, from an affiliate account, Google AdSense, JavaScript, you paste it in here. So I've already copied my newsletter sign up form. So I'm just going to control V to paste it. And then the position. You need to create a custom position. And it's really easy. You just you can actually type in this box. So it's now it says left. We want to create a custom position. So I'm going to name it newsletter. You can name it anything you want. And you need to remember that because you're going to load that position into any content item that you want to show this module. The menu assignment, you can leave it set to all because it's only going to show on the pages that you load it to show in because it's a custom position that you've just created. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to open up a content item and show you how to load that. So I'm going to open up this. And I've already added the little code snippet, but it's uh, really easy. How you load uh, a custom position into a Joomla content item for a module is it's the squirrely bracket, load position, no spaces, then a space, and then the, the custom position that you created with that module, which mine was newsletter. You just type that, load position newsletter, and that is actually going to load my newsletter sign up form module into my content item. So I'm going to save that and go to preview so that you can see how this works. And there you will see uh, my newsletter sign up form that is actually in a module has now been loaded into a Joomla content item. And uh, so that's really all there is to it. It's the, I'm going to show you the code again. The little code snippet is squirrely bracket, load position, and then the custom position that you created uh, for that uh, newsletter sign up form. So a couple of things to note is that uh, you can create, you can copy that module as many times as you need. Just remember uh, for each module that you create to create a custom position. And um, also note that that module is also like any module. You can also set it to display um, in, a, in a regular position like in your sidebar as a module. But this is actually loading that module into a content item and that's how you load any kind of HTML, JavaScript, a PayPal button, uh, YouTube, uh, directly into a Joomla content item. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.